Twitch channel on YouTube officially released a video called Shadow and Maria, Sonic's X Shadow Generations Dark Beginnings Episode 1. So I find it interesting though, they released this after re releasing the story trailer yes, uh, the day before regarding this, showing us a little bit more gameplay and a little bit more story behind Shadow's uh, story in this game. I was like, oh, sweet. And I looked at the gameplay. I was like, oh, this is going to look dope as, shit, dope as shit. And the fact that Shadow's getting wings now, like Venom, because Venom could do that now in the comics too, which feels weird. Feels like a weird comparison, but you get what I'm getting at, making the black goo wings like Venom does, but him is more, still looks more like dragon demon wings. While well, Shadow's just looks like, uh, like the symbiote still forming around him, but it's that's not really the symbiote. It's just whatever the black goo stuff that was formed of was, uh, the racist cult. Uh, it's leaving the top of my head for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, Black Dunes race, but forget shit. Sorry, it's leaving the top of my head. It's been a while since I've dwelled deep into Sonic lore like that, but hey. Anyways. So, I wanted to give this one a watch and record my reaction for it to see how this goes. Because I'm really hyped to, for, to actually play this game. I am going to plan on trying to record my playthrough of this game uh, next month on my Let's Play channel. So tune in for that next month if you want to go tune in over there to watch that. I'm also currently uploading my playthrough of Jedi Survivor there at the moment as well. To keep me occupied until I get something else to record and play. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, yeah that schedule over there is uh, a little hard to just you know edit and... Uh, upload my uh, my parts for the playthrough but anyways but anyways it's hard to keep up with that stuff but anyways what am i saying of course i'm not making any sense i'm sorry guys but anyways so dark beginnings episode one i thought i'd give this one a react it's gonna be a great year for shadow as i mentioned before and i mentioned previously when i watched my sonic free trailer and i also fun enough i did also meet kirk thornton last month uh at, at power morphicon and i got an autograph for him so Showing that real quick again, just to show for those who didn't see that video. But yeah, I'm excited for this game, and let us see what Dark Beginnings has to show us. More on this Shadow Lord with him and Maria. Anyways, time to shut up. Reaction time! Flashing or strobing light contains flashing and light of other strobing content that will affect individuals with photosensitive epilepsy. Okay. Sonic X Shadow Generations Dark Beginnings. Hmm. Nice transition. One Shadow and Maria. Right, what are we gonna get? Space Colony Yard fifty years ago. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, flashing back to this moment. Oh. What's wrong? Nothing! <laughs> Look! It's lights. It's the Aurora Borealis. Yep. You can only see them from certain latitudes down there. But up the here, Northern Lights, as they like to the say. Whole, the whole... Oh, no, Maria. Maria. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, forget. I yeah, she's. I, I forget she's That's a little all. ill. The low gravity the here only keeps your condition in remission. Mm. You should know better than to exert yourself. Mm. I know. You're right. But when it comes to the beauty of the Earth, I can't help myself. I can't wait mm. for the day when we can finally return. I was created here. I don't know if there's a place for me on Earth. There will Professor be. Professor Gerald made me the ultimate life form. I should be the key to all manner of medicines, curing you. I'm sorry to laugh about that part, but every time I hear it, it just, it always just makes me think how many times I hear it. It just sounds so funny the way he says it and brags about him being the ultimate life form. In this case, he is one of the most strongest characters in Sonic lore now we think about it. Besides from Sonic, and because, you know, if we're going to say, say it, we are going to say it. <laughs> Shadow is, uh, you know, Sonic's Vegeta. <laughs> But he's better. He's a better one. I'll say that much. Less stubborn and more and more chill. Even though he's very edgy and you know has a similar attitudes. Let me go back to it a little bit more. I should be the key to all manner of medicines, curing you. No. Still feeling sad about it. 
Maria. You <laughs> and grandfather are doing your best. I'm just as happy to spend time with you here while you both research. Uh oh. What's happening? Irmo? What? Okay, that one's new to me. Oh shit. Oh shit, this one is new to me. It's almost something I don't know about Sonic Lore. Did this actually happen? Holy crap. I didn't know I knew Irma was around, but was it did I don't know if he was there for that destruction. Because I remember getting introduced to Irma in Sonic X and he was also in Sonic Battle. Not much I don't know much else about Irma besides from that. So this one is kinda caught me off guard here. Was heading towards grandfather's lab. Shadow will have to save him. What the? Did he see? Did, did he just have a vision? I'll handle this. Just wait here. I'll be back. I promise. Come on, Shadow. Oh, there he is. What am I doing? Ooh. Damn. I didn't get him. They're really on par with each other. Ooh. Was that not real? No. Oh, it wasn't shit. Okay. Besides, I will say though, uh, I didn't point this out. But this animation is actually really good. Uh, I do look. I, it's really top notch. Uh, top notch indeed. That fight, that fighting sequence between him, him and Shadow. I mean, him and Irma were actually really good. I really loved it, uh, how how that played out. But what I thought was odd because, to my knowledge, Irma has the ability to copy their, his opponent's moves. So I, so I. I see I see him he was mimicking Shadow a little bit but not entirely much. So okay. So this wasn't real. Okay, just to confirm that much, okay. So this looks like it was all an illusion. I'm a well, I'm about to find out here. This isn't right. Hmm? This is the Guardian Units of Nations. Prepare to be boarded. The soldiers. They storm the Ark. Destroy all evidence. But it's too soon. It's happening too quickly. Dr. Gerald. <laughs> Professor, we must... Now I see what's going on here. That black dude. Whoa. That okay. was no mere nightmare. And it all began in view of the Ark. Could he have survived? No. That can't be. I need answers. This is getting interesting. Props. Props to whoever animated this episode. This is actually really good. I love the animation. I really love how the, the effects, the visuals, everything done. This feels really nice. And Kurt Thornton's... I don't, hot take. I, Kurt Thornton's my favorite voice of Shadow, if I'm being honest. Just hearing more and more of him over the years. I've started to like him more. Even though, I, you know, 
I so first heard about him at Jason Griffith voicing Shadow in, you know, in the early games, but still, if I'm being honest, Kirk Thornton's just grow, grown more to me from voicing Shadow. I feel like it just fits him more. It's just my opinion, but hey, man, I was wondering, I was thinking for a second, there's no, like, are we just witnessing a flashback or just, just an illusion and nightmare? As soon as, as soon as he left after that, you know, glass break from Irma, I was like, oh, this is all an illusion or a dream, nightmare, isn't it? Okay, that makes sense. I was like, dang, that didn't make any sense to me because, to my knowledge, Irma, Irma, well, Irma wasn't, it's not that old. He was, I don't, yeah, he was created way, way after that, to my knowledge, anyway. Unless some, someone can tell me otherwise, if you can comment down below, I didn't otherwise tell me, but to my, the extent of my knowledge, that's how, that's how Irma was, shouldn't be that old or when he wasn't created by then, so. But man, it's sad truth, though, like, Witnessing that uh, interaction with being hit between him and Maria, Maria being the only light that he had in life, and which helped Shadow turn around eventually until he met Sonic and the others, of course. So, props to Maria for making Shadow a beacon of. <laughs> for giving him, you know, more hope in humanity. That would make him better. I'm sorry if I don't have many other words besides from that. It's just been a while since I dwelt deep into, you know, to the so Sonic lore, so. I want to check out some of these comments real quick. See, oh no. Oh, damn it, of course, the comments are turned off. Uh, of course, it turned off. But yeah, I wanted to give that a, a reaction, see how it, how that looked. But man, I do love it. I hope we get episode two soon because this is only this is only episode one. So no doubt we're probably gonna get like uh, episode or two or more. Like my guess is like two uh, two more episodes, two or three more episodes. We'll see. Maybe it just maybe it'll just have episode three. Who knows? I mean, it's we're only like a month away from this game releasing, so. Thinking they're not gonna release too much into after uh, before the release, so and then we and then two months we get the Sonic the Hedgehog three movie, Swiss Shadow. <laughs> Can't wait for all this, man. The year of the Shadow's def. This is definitely is the year of the Shadow, ain't it? Hmm <laughs> hmm I can't wait for the rest.